Okay, so I wanted to make a MIDI something to plug into my computer for fun. I'm not particularly musically talented, but I, I thought it'd be a, a cool project. So I went to Goodwill and found a, a kid's toy and I made a MIDI drum kit. So let's take a look at it. So what is it? That's a really, really good question. I, I honestly asked myself that, that too, yeah. It's actually a drum machine. So each one of these has a, a piezo under it, and, and it's a drum machine. Quick, I'll cut to a circuit diagram of how it was made. So inside there were like a bunch of piezos. Six, in fact. No, eight. Eight piezos. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So, unfortunately, each one of these needs an analog pin or some sort of analog uh, signal reading. Could have multiplexed it too much effort. I'm lazy. So, we've got ourselves Arduino Omega. They they look like this because they're like super long. Huh, that's what she said. Anyway, one of these, and then each one of these has two pins. One goes into the analog, and then the other one goes into uh, ground. Here's analog. Eight, six, analog. Seven. So each one of these gets plugged into ground, analog seven, and then across it is a resistor. Eh, 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 eh. Accurate circuit diagram. Uh, right here, this is a one mega ohm resistor across the ground and the analog pin, and we repeat this eight times. Well, this is not going to work out. Okay, so now I have transferred from the uh, ROBCAD over to Fritzing, which is a little bit better. Just to, like, uh, just a couple of things to point out. I made sure to connect all the other, like, the excess analog pins to ground. Because it seems like when they float, they can affect the other analog pins. I don't know whether that's just me, but I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to do that. So, it wasn't too much more effort to add in that extra section of headers on the right there um, and then you got all, the, um, all those one mega ohm resistors which basically just jump across from ground across the pins of the piezos and and that's it now I should have the uh, the, the fritzing for this down in the uh, description so if you do want to go ahead and have a look at my terrible circuit then uh, help yourself let's go ahead and see some sexy shots inside Okay, so how does this work? Every time you tap one of these, it sends data to the uh, Arduino analog pin, which reads the uh, value. It then formats it in MIDI format and sends it through the cable into here. Then it opens a serial port. We have an open serial port, which is, in this case, horribly out of focus. It goes into a piece of software called Hairless MIDI Serial uh, Focus. There. Harris MIDI of seal or bridge. You can see you got a mega plugged in on COM7. And then it sends the MIDI, so this processes the serial signal and converts to a MIDI signal. And then that gets sent out to loop MIDI over here, which is our virtual MIDI port on the PC. And then this gets sent over to MIDI software of your choice. Okay, so we spent all this time looking at, oh, we spent all this time looking at how it works. Now we gotta play it, right? Fair warning, I'm not very good on the drums at all. Uh, obviously, I don't have drumsticks, so screwdrivers. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other fried?
Well, there you have it. I made a Bratz drum machine, and it's pink, and it's beautiful. Thank you for watching.